Step 13. In cell B31, create a formula using the IF function to check whether the value of cell B9 is greater than 400,000. If this condition is true, the function should multiply cell B9 by 2.5%, hint, for the IF true value, uh, use B9 times 0 0.025, and B, if this condition is false, the function should multiply the value in cell B9 by 1.5%. Hint, for the if false value, use B9 times 0 0.015. Okay, this sounds pretty bad, but it's actually a simple if-then statement. Um, and the then part is split into either true or false. So if something happens, it's either going to be true, or if it happens a different way, it's going to be false. In cell B31, let's head to it. So we find B31. This is kind of the meat and potatoes of this um, particular assignment. We want to add in the ifs formula. So under formulas up here, we have logical formulas, and if is right there. Now, when I did that and I clicked on it, it dropped in equals if and then parentheses. Now, the logical test is if B9 is greater than 400,000. That's our logical test. And we would write that by typing out B9 is greater than, which is shift period, 400,000. Don't need commas or anything like that. Now, if B9 is greater than 400,000, we're saying the employee who sold all these cars or whatever it is they're doing here is getting a bonus of 2.5% if he exceeds 400,000. So now we can copy and paste in that formula from the true statement. So I'm going control C and control V and dropping it in. Now if that's false, the employee makes a full percentage less, which could be a lot of money, depending on how much you're talking about selling. So again, I'm copying and pasting it in. And now we have this, we can hit OK. Now that we have that number there, we can now build the rest of our data off of that formula.